I am spending my week at QuickBooks Connect. Now, I love conferences. They make me so happy because you always come away with so much inspiration and insight and empowerment, new friends, and more than anything else, you always come home with tons of notes that you never do anything about. Yeah, I did this too. This kills me. There was once a set of notes that I moved around for like a year, promising myself, I promise I'm gonna do something with these notes. I can't wait, it was so inspiring. And then after like a year, I had to throw them away because I didn't remember anything anymore. It didn't make any sense to me. So like, I understand this, this is a challenge. I'm gonna teach you today how you can take notes at conference that will actually be applicable right now so that you're not carrying them around with you for the next year or 10 years or 50 years. I have clients who I help throw away their notes 20 years later, 20 years. So there are three things that you need to know when you are taking notes at a conference. First things first, filter it right away. Now there are only two kinds of information that you are actually going to get at a conference. One is a task. So something that you need to do, take action on, even a contact is a task because you either need to contact them or add it to your database. So the first type and really the most important type of information that you're receiving at conferences is a task. So that's first. The second thing you're receiving is a resource, something that you may not need to take action on, but is very beneficial for the different projects that you're working on. So what you need to do is you need to actually get that information down immediately. My favorite choice is if you just throw that information into your current database. So for all of my tasks, I actually use Wonderlist. All of my tasks go immediately there. I don't have to go home at the end of the day and inscribe anything and remember what I meant by that word because I have horrible handwriting. So you can put that in there immediately. For my actual resources, I always use OneNote or Evernote, just getting all that information in there somewhere that I can search for it later when I'm looking for it, but it's not bogging me down right now. Now, if you're more of a handwritten note taker, that's totally fine too. You can cue yourself in your notes. What I like to do if I'm ever doing handwritten notes is do when you open up the notebook, on one side, write only tasks, and on the other side, write only items of resource. When you get home at the end of the day, take a quick picture with your phone, throw it into Evernote. That way you can search the text later. If you actually just want to do it all on one sheet, no problem too. You can just do a little square next to anything that's a task and it immediately separates it out for you. What you want to do is do that pre-sorting right when it's happening so it's more actionable. The second thing that you should do when you're at a conference is tap out when you're full. You are gonna get so much information when you are at any conference, tap out when you're full. We go to conferences with goals. We know what we wanna do. We're growing specific kinds of information in our lives or different parts of our business or our world. And you know what you're looking for. When you get that, do not be afraid to leave for a little bit. Tap out, go, actually journal about things that you're working on, go take action on something. Talk to another human about it. Just go sit and ponder it for a minute. You don't need to go to all the classes just because they're offered. Get what you need to go and get and then relax and let your brain process. If you go into the overwhelm state, you're actually gonna miss out on taking action on a lot of the things that you are there to do. And with that leads us to our third point, which is Take action on something every single day. Don't throw everything onto a task list or in your notes and then wait to do it later because later doesn't come, generally speaking, and then you're eventually gonna throw those notes out and you're gonna have had a great experience at the conference and somewhere it's rolling around in your head what you did, but take action right away. Do one thing every single day because even if five years pass and you do nothing else with the information, you did one thing every day that move you forward in that area of your life that you actually went to that conference to acquire information to excel at. Do it. Those three simple things will help move you forward, get the information that you need from the conference, and get you moving back into your life without notes that you're going to have to shuffle around and deal with for the next 10 to 20 years. That's all.